So today was going to be about iOS notifications, but today's Pi Day. So I want to show you all the ways that Pi is super important to my smartphone. So this is going to include obviously the Raspberry Pi, Pi Hole, which we use to block all the ads um, throughout the network, uh, throughout my, my internal network. And we use some Pi colors as well. So let's get into it. So the very first Pi I got was this Raspberry Pi. This was just a $35 Raspberry Pi. It had four USB ports. It had Ethernet. Um, and this was a great Pi. Back when I installed Home Assistant, I used the all-in-one installer. So we installed the Raspberry operating system, uh, Raspbian, and then the all-in-one installer installed the Python environment, and then Home Assistant. Now you can use Hasio uh, uh, with Hasbian. It's, it's, I think it's much better, but this Pi, this Pi was great. We do have a Pi Zero as well, which we use for, we use for all sorts of things. Um, but we're gonna use this, we use this for our Pi Hole. So, wireless adapter. You know, interesting thing about the wireless adapter. Originally this wireless adapter was on my Raspberry Pi, but I couldn't get the Echo devices to see it using the emulated hue. This is way back when. Now, of course, Nabucasu makes everything super easy as far as seeing those devices through your Echoes. But in the beginning, I had to do a hard wire as opposed to a wireless. Let me show you where I went. So we started off with the Raspberry Pi and we went to cut over to this. And this is my laptop, which we use now for Docker. So Ubuntu is running on this laptop. Um, it's connected to a whole mess of cables. I mean, it's just a mess, but I'll get to this later. But this runs Docker and it runs our home assistant. If we scroll up here, we now have a Pi Zero and this is running our, this is running Pi Hole. So Pi Hole is currently broken on my network. There was a break and change, so let's quickly fix that. So we're at the computer now. If we look, our Pi Hole sensors, they dropped off. I'm positive this is a naming issue. If we look here, it's Pi Hole. If we jump over to our states, you can, and we type in Pi or Hole, we can see that So we can see that we need an underscore. So all these underscores uh, were put in <clears throat> and this will give us the appropriate thing. So we're gonna launch our Atom. We have our Pi Hole package here and we're just gonna do a quick, we're gonna do a giant search and replace. So we're gonna look for Pi Hole and we're gonna replace that with Pi hole underscore or pi underscore hole. So let me just triple check. Pi underscore hole. This is the only difference um, is this sensor. Everything else, I guess it's all the sensors. So what we'll do is actually to make this more specific, I'm going to do a search for sensor.pi hole. So we're gonna get very specific. So sensor.pi hole, and we're gonna replace with sensor.pi hole. So we're gonna find all. This is gonna search across the entire project. So we can see it found it in our configuration.yaml, in configuration, in sensors, in our package, of course. Uh, in the recorder and then in some tweets. So there's been some tweets I've noticed. So if I swing this over under Bearstone, we had some tweets where we're just missing 
uh, the number of ads and things. So our Bearstone Twitter account will tweet out live stuff. So this will fix that as well. So let's go ahead and replace that. Yes, we want to replace it all. We're going to check our validation. So this passes. I do have an open item. So we're just gonna look at our open to-do list. Uh, it's 516. So we are gonna say 516 corrected pi hole sensor names. We're gonna give that a restart, so HA restart. If you don't know what HA restart is, alias. Uh, HA restart is just a command that restarts my Docker container and then connects up, uses logs, which is this, and connects up to see the console. So we're gonna do HA restart. bring down the system. In the meantime, I'm going to close this to-do list. So here's our patch. Let's close this issue. Perfect. HA is restarting. Okay, so now that we've made those changes, we're just going to edit. I'm gonna hit edit. I'm gonna toggle this editor. Well, what I'm gonna do is uncheck this and toggle the editor. Perfect. Save. I don't think we have a version anymore, so we're gonna just get rid of this. We'll close that. Now we have our pie hole sensors coming through correctly. The only other thing I wanted to show you is our color schemes scenes and we go to monthly colors we can see let's do a quick search for a hole pie so we do have our monthly pie colors that will occur today and then we change all of our front to be 314159 so this is our pie number for today let me show you what color this is going to be it's still daytime uh, i don't want to wait till night We'll catch some B-roll this another time, but the color will be, so it will be three, one, four, one, five, nine. So the front of the house will be this nice shade of bluish purple. That's all for Pi Day.